Hey guys, what is going on? So today I'm going to be just going over the Remus Fault Responder. I went over that in a bit in my first video, but I feel like I didn't kind of do enough touch on it just because I don't feel like you could get your own judgment on it and kind of think if it's for you and if it will benefit your car in any way. So I'll kind of be going over this video how to install it, kind of the benefits of having it. So like zero to six time, will it improve it? So I'll do a few runs with it out, with it not on, and then kind of a few runs with it on, and then kind of so you can guys get your own judgment and then kind of talk about pricing and everything after that and where I got it from and the code you need to get this car because currently on the 1.4 C at Leon's there actually isn't a Pacific Remus throttle responder for it. Obviously there is other throttle responders apart from Remus but the one I have is Remus um, and there isn't actually on their website. It's under, I think it's under 1 .4, the 1.4 Golf I believe. Um, but I will give you the code for it because I got it on the box um, and then you obviously can search that and find it for yourself. All right, let's get on with it guys. So guys, this is the Remus Throttle Responder. Um, this is the box it comes in. So sorry it's a bit damaged. Um, I have already been using it and everything and already opened it and installed it, but I'll show in this purpose. I'll kind of act like I've only just got it. So, so the code firstly, uh, that is the code you need for the 1.4 Mark III Seat Leon, uh, the FR version, 150 brake. So that is the code you need for it. Um, it won't come up, that is for the Seat Leon 1.4. I can't remember what comes up, I'm pretty sure it is the 1.4 Golf, but that is the one that you need. So. In the box, it's literally will just come, it obviously will come a bit more pe better package than this because I've already, once again, I've already opened it, but it will come with the sticky pads. Um, they'll come separate in a little different packaging inside the box, but you will get some sticky pads so you can actually stick it down. But, ooh. so that's how it literally comes. You get the wires and the rest, there will literally be nothing else in the box apart from those sticky pads. So let's get how to install it. So it's going to be a bit tight guys, but, Obviously you will be using, you will be taking apart a bit of the throttle. Um, it is very simple plug and play. So first of all, you've got that little bit just there, the red clip at the top. All you want to do is pinch and take that out. So once you've got it out, like I said, just pinch that red bit there that you'll see at the top and it will just unclip out. So once you've got that bit out, grab your Remus Fot Responder. So, this end here connects into the bit that you just pulled out. So that will go into there. Oh, can't really see it. Into this bit here that you pulled this unit bit out, that'll go into there. And then this part here plugs into this part here. So yeah, if you just want to get that done, I'll show you guys the rest. So guys, so once you've done this kind of finished product you should have, you should have that bit into there and then that bit plugged into there and the red bit can clip down so that it comes a bit more secure. Just to release it, just pull them back up and then just pull them out and I'll just do it in the reverse order. So once all that is done, obviously it will come with sticky pads. So I'll suggest how we kind of wrap it around how I done it, but first I'll leave it like this just for the video. Um, so what you want to do is turn on your ignition. It's kind of just to make sure it works and that you're not getting any warning lights up. So, I'll go for the different modes. So this one I've just selected here, that's Sport. Then you've got Sport Plus, and then you've got Eco. So obviously each one has different response times and how it affects the throttle. So, and the plus signs obviously will increase the revs and going back will decrease the revs. All right guys, so I'll just get on to kind of how it works and kind of show you how the throttle, like, how the throttle works in terms of the revs uh, when it's idle. So I'll catch you guys in a second. So guys, as you'll see, so if I put it say to 1000 revs as the Leon just cut out at just a little bit above 1000 revs. Uh, so if I put sport, as you see, without me moving my foot, the revs will increase, sport plus. And then eco, and the revs should drop back down again. So as you'll see, it will slowly drop back down again. Um, and then obviously off. And I'll just drop it way back down. So the idea of Eco is obviously you're not gonna have to constantly build those revs back up. Um, so as soon as you don't have to build them revs back up, obviously your engine's ready to start go again straight away. So you're not having to put your foot down a bit more just to kind of get them that throttle back up there and get your speed back up once you've changed gears. So the next thing I'll do is kind of take you through kind of like the zero to 60 time and kind of does it actually affect the performance of the car or are these things kind of get like you know just a gimmick so <clears throat> I'll take you through now I'll, I'll quickly pop down the road and we'll quickly get some zero to six times without it on and then we'll go through with the throttle responder on so first one guys the zero to 60 without um, any throttle responder on so it's just basic engine um, so let's get this done I didn't like the wheel hop at the beginning, so I'm not expecting. 
great. Um, it is a bit wet, and oh my god, I didn't realize there was an accident there. A yodel van has crashed onto the side. Nice. All right, guys, so kind of as expected, um, 7.2 seconds, um, which is not my best of six to about a fault responder, but we did have a bit of wheel hop at the beginning. The roads are a bit wet today, um, but what else can you do? Um, so I'm just going to keep that run. I'm not going to redo another one without it on, but now this time I'm going to put it onto Sport Plus um, and the highest amount of revs just kind of get the most performance you can possibly get out of the Remus Throttle Responder. So anyway, yeah, um, I'll just head back up the road, guys. Then. So next, um, it will be with the Remus Throttle Responder on. I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but set on to Sport Plus and plus all the revs. So can't see if we get any different times. Uh, make sure this one's quickly set up first. Yep, so we're going to quickly see how fast we can get and see if this actually does improve or if they're a bit of a gimmick and I've just wasted my money. All right. So last time, so that was 6.8. So 0 0.4 seconds faster than the wheel hop. I didn't get as much wheel hop there either, which is a bit strange. I still did get wheel hop, so obviously the roads are right, so it's not the best conditions to do it in. But 7. Point, sorry, 6.8 compared to 7.4, it's not, it's not, it's not too bad. Actually, I'd say that. I'd say it's worth it. Obviously, it's getting below that seven mark now, which is great. Um, so yeah, so I'll kind of go over a bit like the pricing and stuff now. You're looking at so. What you're looking at in terms of pricing for the Remus Throttle Responder is, I got mine for £170. Um, so that was from Remus. I got it from Motec, um, just because I originally didn't know what per what product to purchase online, because obviously there was no one before. So I went to them because they work with Remus, um, and they could suggest at least the right product, and they could order in the right product for me. Uh, but like I said, it's just plug and play so easy to use and obviously with a 0 0.4 second gain which i'm pretty sure it will be more on a um you know non as the roads aren't as greasy and obviously you get less wheel hop then and also um if you have a little less fuel in your tank so if you're having a fuel tank you are weighing yourself down a bit so yeah i would say i would say it's worth it personally obviously you can it kind of get you dressed let me know your comments down below if you've had one and you're kind of your own comments on it or if you're looking at getting one and if you want to know any more questions about it going forward about it so yeah so as i said i will be giving away the uh car rest unit which was my previous video the giveaway um i'll be giving that away today um it'll be straight after this video just kind of doing it in two different separate videos um just so that it kind of doesn't overlap and i have to put the title in this one so it's just gonna be a complete separate video but it will be out today with this one um so this one will be released first um as you'll see and then i'll release that one probably later this evening all right, catch you. Um, that is Lips Remus, Remus Front Responder, so I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. Oh, it's just like the first time.